Yeah, I'm going to get on the bull. <laughs> Laughter and longhorns. And this is only the start of this night at the pavilion at the Toyota Music Factory. I definitely want to get on that, but I'm a little scared. I'm a big scared. Not a little scared, big scared. <laughs> Yep. The cattle and cameras oh, that's my picture. are out for this convention crowd from across the country. So in Florida, you don't get to do this? I don't get to ride bulls in Florida. I've never even been that close to one. Moving inside, guests share the red carpet with armadillos. Not many of these sites in India. No, no, you might see a skunk every now and then. <laughs> this party full of food, music, and fun experiences helps kick off RCMA Emerge. RCMA is Religious Conference Management Association. So it's a mix of religious planners and suppliers, like hotels, convention of visitors, bureaus, venues, that all work in the industry together to help support each other. While this night focuses on all the best from the host city and state, Welcome, welcome, welcome. The conference sessions begin the following morning at the Irving Convention Center where the ballroom is filled with more than 800 people. What a remarkable, remarkable facility this is. This is really a big win for Irving. It really allows us to get a chance to show off what we have in the city. We talk a lot about our location, talk about a lot we have to offer. Now we really get a chance to really show it off to people all across the United States. To get an even better idea of the significance of this conference, we moved downstairs. In this busy exhibit hall, yeah. what's the impression you want people to leave with? Well, I mean, obviously we want to see that it's a space that works. Reps from dozens of destinations and hotel brands are here sharing some swag. All to give people a good feeling for Myrtle Beach. That's right. And hopefully snagging some bookings. The meetings of faith-based groups are a bigger business than many people may realize. I normally book anywhere from four to six groups off of this market every year. We're probably six to eight events that we book, um, a couple of citywides and then some other smaller ones that book. That means people filling hotel rooms, eating in restaurants, and otherwise spending dollars that can grow the economy in their areas. But you can also see how a lot of different cities and places around the country are positioning themselves, right? While Irving does have a lot of competition here, the city also has the best showcase. Meeting planners do not have to depend on a flat exhibit to show how this convention center looks. We're getting a chance to get those folks here in Irving to see the city, to see how it works for a convention or a meeting so that they can figure out how their meeting might look here. Irving has wanted to land this event for years, but the Convention and Visitors Bureau waited to make the perfect pitch. We weren't ready until that Weston opened, right? So we needed the Live Nation venue because a lot of these groups have a large assembly component of their event, and that was an important piece of it. We needed to have all of these pieces together, so they're doing what we know we were built to do. When the city was given the opportunity and they seized it, they really did their homework, did their studies, and they were ready for us. To get this uh, event here in the city, at our hotel, at the convention center, has just been a, meant a lot to our team. <laughs> <laughs> this group also spreads out across the city for service projects. Our goal is to get them out of poverty. Here at Irving Cares, they are learning about the needs of the city and making a difference by sorting food donations to get them ready for distribution. Oh, it's awesome. It, it makes you feel like you're truly giving back to those in need. Mostly I think I do it because I get to give back to the community, but also because I just think it's super fun. It just shows that we want to you know, give back for everything that we have. We're so appreciative of everything, and it's important that we show that and we help others in other cities. Several other local nonprofits also got help. Keep Irving Beautiful led a group making blankets. My case managers were able to get those blankets out last night to two homeless families who were living in their cars with their kids. It all adds up to an impact of community service, business, and fun memories. I'm so ready for the armadillo race. All intended to leave them with an indelible Irving impression. Some stories to tell back home? Oh yeah, I just raced an armadillo. Of course there's stories to tell. And don't forget about Marlinda Henry. She finally made it on that Longhorn. Execute my faith. It's a faith conference, right? Hello. <laughs> With her goal reached, now the city's goal is to steer more conventions like this one to Irving. <laughs> Thomas Gandy for City Source.